already been played 1-1. Let's see how we go into this game. Yep, and here we are. Civilizations are Huns and Saracens for both teams. Ooh, okay. So I take it because, of course, it will it will mirror it across the two. So one gets to choose, I take it, and then the other gets to choose the other, perhaps? Is this how it's working? So... Well, it is hidden. They could choose whatever they want. It could be um, Celts, Saracens, I don't know. That's right. Whatever. Then I take it yeah. then the other sides will mirror. Because we've got here, we've got uh, VNS Tempo playing the, the Huns, and that's going to be a strong sieve for VNS Tempo. Mm -hmm. Very accustomed to playing this civilization. I was expecting POJ Demo to be playing something like Huns. Actually, I hadn't quite seen what he was playing, there, but yet playing Huns. So we're going to see um, something... I hope that's going to be um, quite interesting here. So we've got Huns up against VNS uh, Yellow here as Saracens. They're going to be pumping out those early uh, early camels just because they're going to have that that bonus up against the uh, the cavalry coming in from from either Huns team from VNS Tempo from POJ uh, Demo as they're pushing those out. You can see. A uh, few few barracks coming up from POJ uh, Demo, trying to make sure that he can get those halberdiers, so he can start to counter those um, those camels coming mm -hmm. out uh, from VNS Yellow. So we shall see. It's all going to be about getting those castles up, though, for Saracens. Uh, I did actually watch one game uh, where I saw, uh, and just trying to remember now uh, which player it was. Was it uh, possibly? I think it was FedEx uh, mm -hmm. was playing, and he didn't get the uh, the castles up as quickly as Saracens really ought to, uh, you mm -hmm. know, especially as you want that Mameluke advantage. There's that huge hill, though, right in front of Hunting Bears, and he's not really mobilizing his force too much at the moment to try and get out there. He's allowing that early advantage to come in from VNS Tempo and allowing him to put down some pressure. He's got those halberdiers in tow as well. Mamelukes aren't going to come out very quickly, don't forget. The reduction of those is going to be slow. It yeah. looks like, to be honest, this is going to be very much uh, about which Hun can push the fastest. I, th I think game. yellow Oh, what? Yellow player in blue is um, going to double hunting bears now. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's going to be a bit damaging for him. I mean, he is bottlenecked a little bit. You can see the wood uh, on the right and on the left there uh, is going to give him a bit of a vantage point in terms of being able to fire out quite easily with those uh, on Odyssey Jonagers without uh, too much uh, trouble. But you can see here, look, this hill now, they're going to push straight into that hill. You can see yeah. VNS Tempo is building that castle straight on. He's going to try and get that as a vantage point. Hopefully some um, some siege uh, workshops will be coming across from VNS Bellow. But look at VNS Yellow, he's in trouble. VNS trouble is actually uh, VNS Yellow is actually in trouble because he's being attacked uh, yeah. quite uh, quite hard, but he's he's okay. He's okay. He can uh, he can easily back off. He's got um, he's got Mangadai. Um, oh, Mangadai. He's got mm -hmm. uh, Mamelukes that he can build out, and uh, he can pretty much sit pretty. I did think he was in trouble there just for a second. Um, sweeping across, I, I just but... I just hit F4 twice, and it showed me only four now five villages for hunting bears. Again, only four, and so he oh, can't no, he, he can't he expand. Is... Yeah. That's right. He is. He is under a lot of pressure here from VNS, uh, from VNS Yellow, and uh, from VNS Tempo. I did really think for a second there. Sorry, it was a bit of my bad judgment because I did think that uh, VNS uh, Yellow was under a bit of pressure from um, from Demo there. It, just it looked, it looked like, like it. Like there was them. a lot of red. Yeah, but it wasn't. It's been deflected. It's been mitigated quite easily. I'm not sure who took the, um, the if, if at all, the market advantage here, but it looks like the Huns from uh, POJ uh, Demo seeming to start uh, get uh, get back into the game here. But Tempo and uh, and VNS are just going to sit pretty on this hill now and yeah. uh, and fire down onto um, onto anything that uh, is coming from from hunting bears. I honestly think that this looks like it could be quite a swift and decisive yeah. game in favor of VNS, to be honest. Triple the population for both VNS players compared to hunting bears right now. Right, that's right. I mean, it, it's going to be... I mean, and look at what's happening again. Didn't I say about before, you know, the, the way that this is going, you know, VNS Tempo taking the lead, taking the steering wheel on the DM games, and look at that, VNS Yellow left completely alone, and that is the situation they want to be in. Leave VNS alone, and he will be absolutely fine. He can, once he gets going, you know, he, I mean, he's just going to really start to, to, to pick up presence on the map. Fourth castle is up for hunting bears, so maybe he can get the Mamluk production up. 
That's right. I mean, there is a possibility, but he's so restricted here. There's not even much option for him to build backwards. Unfortunately, with that wood there, you can see just behind the houses, it really mm. does restrict him in you know, being able to do much at all. Yeah. I must admit, it's a little bit unfair for uh, for the map here. A little bit. With that forward gold as well, you know, look at those two gold pot pat patches just in front. It was a yeah. little, little bit unfortunate, really, I suppose, True. that... Uh, that Demo tried to replicate what Tempo was doing with the pressure and go for the Saracen. Really, maybe uh, they should have just bitten the bullet and said, "Actually, let's uh, let's try and uh, and save you here." This map looks a bit awkward. I hmm. always look at my allies' maps when I'm going into team games. Uh, you know, I just have a quick glance over at their town centre, and if I suppose I'd seen that kind of restriction, it can work favourably sometimes. But from the pressure that you're getting from VNS, no. Yeah. A good castle now uh, for hunting bears, um, shielding his main gold a little. Um, yeah, but it's demo doing the work right now. Not much army from yellow that's right. hunting bears. I mean, that's right. And that gold, that forward gold, isn't really going to do anything at all, really. Uh, a little bit. Uh, the, the the market placement coming in from uh, from hunting bears looks like those trading cards have to go round the back of those. Oh no! Markets. Yeah. Uh, and not. Uh, <laughs> No, I think that might sort itself out, but uh, right at the beginning here, it looks like they're going around the back and, and then, yeah, just... Yeah, not ideal. <laughs> uh, they're not going to get an uh, efficient enough trade coming out. Uh, you know, VNS Tempo and uh, VNS Yellow really, really pressing a very solid uh, advantage here. And uh, to be honest, uh, even though the scores are, are fairly uh, even, it just depends if Hunting Bears can stay alive long enough and if he can get some gold, yeah. maybe some tribute from from, P uh, from POJ Demo, <sighs> just depends. Yeah. His direct opponent still has double the population, 180 against 90 right now. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, looking at a uh, uh, hunting bears, yeah, and only 95, 96. He's starting to trend upwards, but it's just not going to be enough. I feel, um, you know, when you don't have uh, that gold uh, as as easily to. Um, I mean, yes, he's got gold at the moment through the villages, but you know, it just takes one attack, and uh, and those all those villages are either going to be denied the gold or they're going to be killed. So. Few cannons coming out from hunting bears as Saracens, um, trying to fire in on those castles together with the trebuchets. Looks like he might be trying to see if he can get back at that hill. If he could get that hill, that would give him quite a pivotal point. Looks like um, those Mamelukes and Ono goes coming in from hunting bears are doing a good job up against anything from VNS Tempo there. And that's that's where these uh, these sieves start to become quite dangerous is because those mamelukes you can start to cancel out any sort of uh, camels and things like that that you need right at the beginning of the game just to be able to deflect any uh, early pressure from those paladins but you can go straight into those mamelukes getting out those rams there we can see from VNS ELO to try and hit up against those huns and this is where it's going to be difficult for the hun because the hun's going to maintain the early advantage but the saracen is going to be really the powerhouse sieve coming into the late game and if yeah. these saracen uh, um, mamelukes can actually get into the trade and do some damage i don't think on this occasion although there is actually a bit of a bottleneck actually there in Dem demo's uh, corner uh, trade uh, uh, you can see that market mm -hmm. looks like yeah. it could be a bit juicy if he can get right in there. It looks like he's going to try as well. If he can wedge himself between that market and those trees. Um, ooh, that, I mean, yeah, that's that's not going to do him any good. Mameluke's coming back here from uh, from Hunting Bears to try and deal with that. Looking at the front of the base, though, from, uh, from uh, Hunting Bears, you can see here that, yes, he's got the gold, but there is now pressure starting to build from uh, VNS mm -hmm. Temper. That's true, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, and it's starting to ease off from uh, for support from POJ Demo. He's had to delete that market, look in the corner, because he knew that he could easily just get behind that market in between those trees and uh, and apply some pressure. He's still got those other two markets though. Yeah, uh, it has caused a bit of a, a bit of a traffic jam down at Hunting Bears Market though, because they were waypointed to that market. You know um, what I think. Uh, Andrew built a nice wall there in the middle, um, securing a lot of space for hunting bears, but he's not using the space. Um, no, okay. Granted, there's no gold or stone, but he could still build TCs or expand in that direction. Yeah, quite. I mean, that, that middle of the map is very wide open at the moment. That wall, uh, 
Well, yeah, it's a wall coming up from Dima. Really, a wall would have been better placed if it had come up from, from the Saracen. But you can see here, look at VNS. They don't even need to respond with uh, much in the way of walls. There are some walls double layered coming in from Tempo, just on that uh, that side edge where they're a little bit less defended. No castles there looking at... Uh, but really, I suppose it's only there to block any Mamelukes actually from getting through. But VNS don't have to worry about the center of the map so much, um, simply because they're not under as much pressure as uh, Hunting Bears and uh, POJ Dima. So... We can see um, another market coming up in the corner there from POJ Dima. He's trying to get that uh, corner market back up so he can maintain that goal. But look at here now. We've got the push coming in from uh, VNS Tempo, coming in from VNS Yellow. They're going to be trying to deny him of any of that goal. That's going to spell disaster, really, when you think about it for uh, for um, for VNS, uh, for uh, Hunting Bears, rather. And uh, it means that VNS are just going to re-establish um, a presence on that hill, firing down with trebuchets, bringing in the Paladins. And then Paladins in mass with a with a stable trade let's just have a quick look at vns tempo you see mm -hmm. vns tempo there he's got 39 farmers and he's got uh, 26 trade carts he's got uh, pretty solid nearly pop uh, capped and he's also got uh, 1500 in food nearly 4k in um in uh, gold and he can just keep spamming out those paladins and yes they will start to lose uh two mamluks but look at with the siege in in uh, in defense there as well with the yeah. trebuchets laying out against those Mamelukes and in mass, in flood like that, by tempo, that's going to be a lot of pressure generated and it doesn't look like uh, POJ Demo is able to replicate that in any way, shape or form. He's uh, he's 2v, uh, 2v1 ing up against VNS Yellow, but once again left him to do his own thing. It's almost like VNS, uh, VNS Yellow is a bit of a kind of almost uh, a spectator in this game. He can pop <laughs> a few units and just kind of watch his ally cause huge amounts of damage to his opponent. And uh, and then freely, when he chooses to, he can just bring a few Mamelukes and Camels, start firing with some trebuchets up against it, and pretty much have a zero resistance. I mean, look how easy this is now for VNS Yellow coming in. Yeah. I mean, it's just not comparable when you look at the kind of pressure that Tempo's been under. Uh, to try and deliver. He's been microing like crazy and he's really been the one, as I say, to take the lead on these DM games and uh, and to really be the leader in, uh, in, 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 in winning the games. And I think in, in 2v2 um, coordination is maybe the most important thing. So why not have a leader and yeah, let someone make oh, the calls. I mean, I don't think necessarily that a VNS uh, Tempo is the best at making calls. Um, you know, often uh, he won't say too much, uh, mm -hmm. odd, odd signal, odd, uh, odd uh, significant kind of point out to his ally. Um, but uh, more really it's going to be in his confidence of how he plays Huns and how he delivers that sort of blow uh, to, uh, to, to hunting bears. And it looks like they're calling the GG here. It mm. looks like we may not be seeing at all. Although Demo's just saying, wait, don't give up yet. He knows yep. there's, there's, there, it doesn't really matter if they play on on. You know, he, he's got nothing to lose by playing on. So yeah. why Let's not give it a shot. It? Yeah. That's it. Give it a shot. But I think if you look at the advantage coming in from VNS Yellow here. And this is it. As I say, once he starts to get going, I mean, look, he's just an absolute... Uh, you know, uh, and our tempo is moving in as well on on demo That's side. That's it. I mean, they're, they're just going to shut the game down now. Against uh, they know that there's a bit of uh, resistance coming in here from uh, from that that corner by the trade, where there's a lot of bottleneck points. You can see there they could mount uh, a bit of a, a defensive with Mamelukes and with Onagus. Whereas up here, look at that. There's only this. Well, very weak wall, really, I should say, for uh, for Huns, and you can see the GG's been called. They yeah, knew that GG. there was too much flexibility for them, so GG. All right, so I think now it's time to update the scoreboard. So this point for the death matches uh, goes to VNS, Vietnam Strategy, well played, uh, Yellow and Tempo, and well, nice games from Hunting Bears and Demo as well, but. In this Absolutely. last one, um, Demo said we played bad, and if he says that, then yeah, I guess I guess I he, mean, he knows he can I, do better. I guess you have to take into account the actual map that Hunting Bears had as well. You mm -hmm. know, it wasn't the best. I think if you reversed the roles across, it might have been a very interesting game to see what would have happened. You know, if you put VNS Yellow where Hunting Bears would have mm -hmm. started, switch map tempo. Yeah. It would have been interesting to see, but I still think that VNS Tempo playing very strong, I think he could have just spread out across the map and could have laid down a lot of pressure, defending where he needed to, up against the uh, opposing uh, opposing Saracen, and they might have been able to make something happen, but it just depends. I still think that that map with those forward goals was a little bit unfortunate, to be fair. Yeah, you mentioned it. Um, it, it restricted him in his expansion in the beginning, and yeah... 
That's right. And I mean, it depends as well who got the market. I mean, market for Saracens, if you can sell that early wood, if you can get that gold, that extra gold, because Mamelukes are expensive. You know, camels going into Mamelukes are expensive. And once you start to, to one, if you start to lose production, because, you know, you slow production on Mamelukes, they start to get killed off fairly early on. And then you having difficulty massing up those Mamelukes. By the time you've actually finally massed them and then you're out of gold, there's no sort of second wind for you to do anything after that point. So once you then not got any gold for trebuchets for any any pretty sort of raising of, of, of siege onagers it means that you're then limited in what you can do you might try and move your mamelukes around the map to try and do something with poj uh, demo to try and make something happen but to be honest you're just going to be on the back foot for the rest of the game taking huge amounts of damage from trebuchets and from pressure in from tempo so yeah another thing hunting bears could have maybe secured this hill for him because looking at the distance um tempo had to go well, quite some distance um, to reach that hill, and mm. if hunting bears could have could have defended the hill. I think dropped a castle on it that's or very, something. That's very true, and I think as well. I think if we'd maybe seen uh, a different player, maybe someone like uh, Tyrant Jibber, for example, maybe playing the same position with the same civilization, it might have been very interesting to see how he would have responded, knowing well full well that that hill was going to play such a, a crucial role. So quite possibly might have seen uh, some some barracks maybe and some uh, some um, uh, some stables possibly even some archery ranges just to try and push out as much as it can forget the castles don't worry about trying to get mamelukes out because they're gonna get overwhelmed and just try and rep basically uh, repel anything that's coming in at you with gra basically ground units you, your camels your your champions you, you, you maybe even some some carry archers or some depending on what you want to do just push it forward Get on top of that hill, and then once you've secured that hill, then think about Mamelukes, then think about siege workshops, think about Onagas, and start firing back at your opponent. Yeah. So, um, well, we've seen an, an awesome set of matches here. It went up to the third one, which is always nice. And yeah, point goes to VNS. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I wonder what to do now. I think there is. Um, the Viper against Mr. Yo on Woobly Official right now, so I think I'll just start hosting uh, it on this channel as well. And Where again, is that? Sorry, oh, is it of RM games of that you're yes. talking about? Yes, yeah. you've, okay. you've, well, you've yeah. heard of the Viper, right? Uh, <laughs> no, who is who is? <laughs> Sure, who this is? <laughs> oh, and and uh, Yo has, has played DM. <laughs> he has played DM. Yeah, maybe you've uh, oh, played him. You? Oh, really? oh, oh you, sure you don't I know. He's he's top ten, <laughs> I think. Oh, really? Oh, nah. Nah, no, come on. Sure. You're you're. He's an RM -er, man. Can't possibly be. <laughs> I was surely not. Wait, let me go and educate myself with that Hitler video. One second. <laughs> you're making fun of me now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to pretend like I'm some sort of really ignorant DMer that has no idea about the wider spectrum of what's going on in the community. So, there is Jitpa uh, in the chat. Uh, hello, man. It's an honor to see you here. Um, <laughs> it'd be brilliant to get Jipper. Jipper, come on to Teamspeak. It'd be brilliant to hear some uh, insight from Jipper. No one, I don't even think I've ever heard Jipper's voice. It would be brilliant to uh, hear him giving some input as well. Well, you've heard it, did, if you do have TeamSpeak installed and you have a working microphone, then yeah, you're you're welcome to join us here. Yeah, he, he so should. It, I think he's... He, he, let's see what happens. Hi, hi, he says. He's listening to the slight delay, obviously, from what we're saying coming through into the chat. Nah, it's it's a, a bit spontaneous. Maybe he would have to set up things or not. Um, maybe we can talk to him afterwards and Absolutely. No, organize I mean, it. it right now. But it, it definitely sort of just putting it out there for a future event. Perhaps if he could just yep. uh, come in as a, as a as a guest and 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 talk with uh, talk with us, it would be quite interesting to know what his perspective on things would be. Being a, a consistently strong DMer, uh, one of oh, the king really. <laughs> uh, he's a bit like the Muhammad Ali of uh, of DM really. So yeah. All right, um, so I guess this is it from us now. Uh, we've seen some great games here, and I personally want to see the Viper match, and yeah, with Mr. Go as well. So, gonna stop the stream here, start hosting the other channel, and again, thanks KD for co-casting. Was no awesome. 
absolutely fine. I'll, I'd love to do it again. So uh, just yep. any future invites, let me know. Yep, will do. Okay, so you've heard it, guys. 